I had just finished a sculpture series, ready to enter into something else. Uh, the pandemic hit. We're all stuck at home for four months. I started to look around at things that I had collected over time, and I had some shells, and I started really looking at them, and I thought, wow, these are really interesting forms. How would that look if I made them larger? Like, what if I took something small and made it larger so we could really get a good look at it? And these were shells that had been already chipped open by nature so that I could see in them. Normally, I would never have known what was within these shells because that's the whole idea of the shell and the spiral, that they are a home for a creature and uh, that does not want to be exposed. Scale is always a consideration. In this case, it was so I could expose what had been hidden. And to expose it is to make it a little bit larger so that it's the size of our head, so that we could communicate on it uh, from a human level rather than needing a microscope or a magnifying glass. They're very practical shapes. You know, you sort of think as you put your hand around the backside, when you're building it, you're starting at nothing. You're kind of thinking, where will my hand come out? And I think when you're dealing with uh, the shell, inside it's very smooth. I mean, even the surface and the texture. And the outside is very rough, bone-like. The mystery of the form, the twists, the colors are not perfect. Things are not placed in a totally uniform way. Everything's not being totally lined up the way we like to line everything up when we're uh, trying to solve a problem, you know, clear the chaos, line it up, that's perfection. Well, nature is not perfection. Nature is different shapes. And our eyes just decide they go together because that is what is real. As well, you realize the beauty of nature, the ugly part of nature, and then putting the two together and creating this sort of practically beautiful form. It's complicated making it. Uh, even though you're, you're looking at it, a lot of it is hidden. So in order to make the structure of it, you have to imagine where it's going. And then it's very nice if it comes out that way. It's open on one side, the shell, so that as you go around towards the back, it's a closed-in form. That's what's so interesting, I think, about three dimensions, is that you see it from so many different angles. When I do a shell, it's like I'm doing a portrait of a shell. So it's like a life drawing only it's a shell, so it's not, not unlike doing life drawings. I will do sketches so that I can understand how the forms come together, but then usually I like to put my sketches away and let the form become an object in space, as opposed to a replica of, I don't need to do a replica, I just need to pull out the important parts about that shape in order for us all to understand what that shape is. I think I was having a little bit of fun making it look like it was sitting into, into this form because I think that that's probably what I was thinking about when I was making it. All of a sudden, there starts to be human qualities to it. I'm hoping other people will be able to look within that and come up with some other interesting answers. I'm putting the question out there, what is this form? What are all these compartments within this shape? What's it for? You get to recreate the material of nature. I mean, a shell was in, where did that come from? <laughs> you get to recreate it. So that's a lot of fun.